we already have an authentication which is built in house. How can I use that with Xano? Very easily. All right. So, so the nice thing about um, so we already have. Have you explored these auth endpoints? You just saw yeah. them. Yeah. Okay. So the nice thing about this is that we just get you started where this is authenticating against an email and password, mm -hmm. but you, but at the end of the day, all you care about is this create authentication token. So mm -hmm. what that means is let's say, uh, I'll create a new way to authenticate. Uh, if you, let's do um, API key, right? I'll do this on the fly. So let's say this is Sean. And then we'll add a field called API key. So basically I'm creating my own authentication, which would be synonymous with uh, your authentication, right? Okay. We'll say API key. And we'll say my key is test one, two, three, four, five. Okay? okay. So now can I authenticate, not with email and password, but with API key. So I'm gonna delete the email and password. change this to API key. Mm -hmm. We're then going to get the user, not by email. By API key. By API key, right? Uh, there we go. Uh, we don't need to check the password, right? Mm -hmm. And now we have a way to log in with API key. So I'll do test, which obviously doesn't work. Invalid credentials, test one, two, three, four, five. Uh, oh, whoops. Oh, gotta get rid of this guy. Don't need that because we're not doing a password. Test one, two, three, four, five. All of a sudden we got our API token, right? So really the name of the, the game here is um, do whatever you want. Right, you define what that is. Once you determine that they have authenticated, in this case, it's just API key. In your case, probably, maybe it's decoding a JWE token. Maybe mm -hmm. it's doing an API request to your service and saying yes or yeah. no. Whenever yeah. you whatever you determine that considers something all of a sudden true, you just do create authentication token, right? So you're just exchanging, you decide what mm -hmm. the Truth, the truthness is, and then you just use create authentication token. Okay, great. This is super helpful. 